Hello everyone, this is a quick video on how to install uh, PowerShell version 4 on Windows Server 2008 R2. Um, by default, Windows 2008 R2 only has, even with Service Pack 1 installed, only has PowerShell version 2.0 installed. So if you go into PowerShell, you run the command get hyphen host, and that's got version 2. Uh, if you want to do things like Acme Sharp to uh, install and manage um, HTTPS or SSL certificates, then you need PowerShell version 4. So i uh, just going to do a very quick video on how to install it. There's two things you need to install and, and then you should be good to go. Um, so the first thing you need is .NET Framework 4.5.1. It probably works with most of the um, other .NET Frameworks 4.5.1 above. Um, but I know it works with this one, so for the purposes here, I'm just going to install that. So it's going to take a little while to install. Okay, and if it wasn't obvious there, I edited the video to skip the five minutes of installing .NET. So, once .NET's installed, you can finish on that. I'm going to just Google for PowerShell 4.0 download. Hopefully it'll give me a Microsoft website. So, yep, it's download 40855 and titled Windows Management Framework 4.0. So, download that. And for Windows Server 2008 R2, you want Windows 6.1 and then 64 bit. I don't think they do a 32 bit version of the OS, but if you're weird, you might need the 32 bit version. Um, but, yep, so 64 bit. And we'll download that. and run it. If you skip the .NET 4.5.1 or if you don't already have a version of .NET that's compatible, when you go to install this you'll get to this stage and go yes to install the update. You'll then agree to the terms and conditions but the at this stage here the update will look like it's installed and won't ask you to reboot or possibly it will just say that it didn't install and, and I didn't really pay attention but um, at this stage it, it it fails and then you'd reboot and uh, dot, uh, PowerShell 4 won't be there but as long as you've installed .NET 4.5.1 or possibly any other one that's compatible the end of this it should ask you to reboot and uh, after that you're all ready to go with PowerShell 4 once again I've edited this video to chop out the uh, probably 60 seconds or so that it took to install that update. And we can now restart, so let's reboot and see or we'll check that PowerShell 4 is ready to use. Once again, I'm going to edit out a lot of the reboot procedure there, because you don't really need to see a lot of black screens and Windows loadings. But then you get to this stage where it completes the, the Windows update, which you've just applied for the management framework for. And let's try loading PowerShell. The 
first thing you should notice is it looks quite different. So it's got a different font, it's got a much bigger screen when you load it up. Instead of being a DOS style box, it's um, much more obvious that it's uh, PowerShell. So now if we do get hyphen host, it should say version 4. There we go, yeah, excellent. Version 4.0, so that's PowerShell 4, and we are ready to do stuff with uh, things which need PowerShell 4, like Acme Shop. I hope this helped you. Um, I've definitely had trouble looking up the procedure in the past. Um, there's a lot of pages which tell you to install a lot more prerequisites that you actually don't need.